Welcome to this video on SQL Server database recovery using the fast recovery method in Replay Manager. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a feature that was added to the Replay Manager UI in version 7.7 .7 to perform database recovery. I will also talk about the differences between this and some of the other Replay Manager recovery options. Now that we have three recovery methods for Replay Manager replays, it helps to understand how each one works and some key differences between them. In addition to the restore and expose, we now have a fast recovery option that was recently added to the Replay Manager UI and appears in the Restore Points menu as Resync. The restore method works by attaching view volumes behind the scenes and performing a database restore of the selected databases from those volumes. Since it reads the view volumes and writes the database during the restore process, it is slower than the expose or resync method, especially with larger databases, but it does provide the most flexibility. With the restore method, we can choose the databases we want to restore, restore them under the same or different name, provide a different location, and then use the log files if desired to perform a point in time recovery. The expose method exposes all volumes that were part of the replay under the drive letters or mount points that we specify, and from there we can do an attach of any or all of the databases that reside on those volumes. Since this is a metadata operation in both the Storage Center and SQL Server, there is no user data being copied and therefore it is extremely fast. You have the option of recovering individual databases by simply choosing the databases to attach. Unfortunately, with this method, you cannot apply log files as there is no attached with no recovery option in SQL Server. You do have the ability to move and rename databases either when you specify the drive letters or mount points to use or when you attach the databases. Fast Recovery or Resync performs a resynchronization of all the LUNs in the replay back to the point where the replay was taken. This is an extremely fast operation as well. Keep in mind that it replaces the existing ones. So you do not have the opportunity to select from multiple databases or move or rename files or databases. You do have the option to leave the databases in a restoring state where you can apply transaction log files to perform point in time recovery. For this demonstration, I am going to recover a database called BigDB using the resync method and replay manager. If we take a look at this database, You'll see this database is approximately three terabytes in size with around two terabytes of that being consumed by data. Now I'm going to drop this database, then refresh my list of databases, and you'll see the big DB database is now gone. Now let's take a look at how to use the resync feature. To recover a database using the resync method, simply choose a restore point and then choose resync from the restore points menu. If you want to recover transaction logs, you could select the do not recover databases option now, but for this demonstration, we are just going to do a simple resync. So I'm going to click the resync button now. The resync feature is a metadata operation that replaces the original ones with those from our restore point, so the operation is extremely fast when compared to a restore regardless of database size. Keep in mind, however, that the resync will replace all LUNs that the backup set resides on. You need to use caution when using this option to make sure that the LUNs that are part of this backup set do not contain other databases or files as those will be recovered as well. Now, when I return to Management Studio, I can refresh my list of databases and see that our big DB database is back. And when I check the space consumption, it is the same as before. An operation that can take hours using traditional restore techniques has been quickly restored using Replay Manager replays and the resync method. For more information on using Replay Manager with SQL Server, consult your Replay Manager Administrator's Guide. Additional resources such as videos, white papers, and best practices documents on using SQL Server with Replay Manager and or Dell Storage Center are also available at DellTechCenter.com. Thanks for watching.